Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another exciting planner video. For this video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me in a planner that I haven't shared yet. This is my new Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook. It is a number two or pocket sized. The leather is called Sugar and the color is called Coconut. It's a beautiful white leather and I'm really happy to have it. The inserts that I'll be using are these from the 1407 planners and I realize that I haven't shared this with you guys on my YouTube channel yet. I am going to be doing a whole walkthrough and set up with you guys though. I just happened to have some downtime and wanted to set it up on my own a few weeks ago but don't worry that will be coming soon. Like I mentioned, these inserts are from the 1407 planners, the same kind that I have in my other traveler's notebook, but this is a vertical week on four pages. So basically you get like a sidebar blank sort of section first with Monday through Wednesday on the first two pages and then Thursday through Sunday on the other two pages. So even though this is a very small insert for a very small planner, I find that you definitely still get a lot of space. I got so ahead of myself while starting to work on the sidebar and my glitter headers that I forgot to show you the kit that I used. This is the Relax Mini Kit from Planner Gems. It's pretty old though, so I'm sorry if you can't find it anymore, but I decided to use it because this week at work was very chill. Most of my coworkers took the week off. I was in the office, but it was very, very lax. However, I did work the full week, so to mark work every day, I used the little things in the kit, and I also marked that with these really pretty mint Clever Gal Crafts bows. So, so cute. Starting off on Monday, it was really quite slow, and actually both my boyfriend and I had pretty slow days, and we worked relatively close to each other, so we decided to meet up and grab some lunch. So to mark that, I just used a half box with this little coffee cup from the kit. It was also a payday, and this was actually also the day of the solar eclipse, so I decided to mark that in my planner. I couldn't really see anything because I didn't have the glasses, and I also wasn't in a great location, but I decided to mark it anyway. The Planner Gems kits come with these really, really cute tiny clipboards. And because this was like a relaxation theme, I had this eye mask sticker. Not that you wear eye masks for the solar eclipse, but I thought that it had something to do with eyes. So I'd use it to mark that. I also decided to go ahead and put down a full box across the bottom. So I actually cut one up because I didn't want to fit the entire box in it. I just needed a little bit of decoration down there. And on this glittery, well, gem, crushed gem because it's a Planner Gems quarter box, I use a Clever Gal Crafts little laundry sticker to mark that I did some laundry. Now, one thing that I noticed while using these inserts is because they're like this really interesting sort of balance between being super tiny but also quite spacious. I won't be using these inserts to make any to-do lists or keep track of things that I have to do, but it actually works really well and you have a lot of space if you don't include to-do lists. So I was able to put all of my plans in, not really feel like I had to cram anything in, and I actually felt like I had quite a bit of space. So you'll see me actually go in later with some washi for some extra decoration. On to Tuesday though, I just used a little envelope from the kit in a half box because I had to go to the post office and this nail polish sticker from GP Sticker Studio because I painted my nails. And again, I just put down a full box right at the beginning for some decoration. I love that artwork. On to Wednesday, I put down a full box as well as a half box with a glittery planner sticker from Planning World. And in a quarter box, I used another foiled sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. This one is a bed because I changed my bedding on Wednesday. I forgot to mention that the glitter headers that I used are this really pretty sort of bronzy, rosy gold shade that I thought went well with the peach in this kit. And these are from Pink Rosette Co. I really like the sort of uh, texture of her glitter a lot. I first went ahead and put down the rest of my work schedule for the week, so just Thursday and Friday. And starting off on Thursday, I am putting down a full box across the bottom. Thursday was really slow though, so I'm literally just trying to maximize how I can decorate. So I put down a half box vertically to take up some more space and use this little desk sticker from Paper Crown Prince Co. because I clean my desk. That was kind of it, just work, relax, and then I clean my desk at home. Friday, I started off with this beautiful full box, and then this night my boyfriend and I did go and grab some dinner. So in a half box, I decorated with some munchkins from Once More With Love, the little couple. Moving on to the weekend, I just got started by placing the weekend banner across the glitter headers on top. 
And then on Saturday, I got started by putting down a half box first to mark that I slept in. I decided to go for the one with the little sleep mask artwork because that's definitely appropriate for an eye mask. I also used a really pretty full box across the bottom. And on this day, my boyfriend and I actually went to the local fair. It wasn't a movie, but I decided to use a movie marquee because I love going there. I get my favorite kind candy. So I also marked that with the adorable balloons that come with the kit. I think that those are really cute. I also went back to Friday and used a flag from the kit as well as a TV sticker from Sweet Bella XOXO to mark that we started a new show on Netflix. It's new to me, not to him. On to Sunday, I used a quarter box and this little sad looking shameful munchkin from Once More With Love because I was a little sad that I didn't get to upload my plan with me on time. I couldn't because I was really tired the night before and then that day, as you can see, I used a family sticker to mark this. We had a barbecue at home, so it's definitely hard to film when there's a bunch of family at home. I then go ahead and do what I mentioned before. I use this washi from Michaels, one of those big tubes, to just fill in the places that I felt were a little blank or sparse looking. I don't know if it's because these inserts are really spacious or if it's because I didn't do a to-do list for every day or maybe just because I didn't have very many plans, but I felt like I had a lot of room to grow and I felt like I could have done more if I had more plans. I filled out my sidebar, which was just my uh, weekly uh, dinner tracker as well as a package tracker, and I go ahead and fill everything in. I also put down the tiny, tiny little bit of deco that came with the kit and again just sprinkled it in the few little places that I felt they would fit. And then on Friday, I used a date night sticker from Little Miss Papery from one of her color samplers, like the family time sticker on Sunday, over my dinner with my boyfriend. At this point, you just see me putting down the deco, and after this, you guys, I am pretty much done. Again, I really like how this turned out, and I feel like I wasn't cramped, and I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by that. I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I mentioned, please be sure to stay tuned because a walkthrough and setup of this planner is coming really soon because I've really, really been loving my traveler's notebooks. Until the next one, you guys, I hope that you take care. We will chat soon. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.